Coming up on Access USI. Students received direction at a fair. Students had a chance to get their confidence up for studying abroad. USI's Connect with Southern Indiana Leadership Program is accepting applications for 2020 class. Access USI starts now. Welcome to Access USI. I'm Deja Stowe. And I'm Jana Garrett. The exploration of Majors and Minors Fair took place at Carter Hall today. Faculty took the opportunity to showcase their academic programs, and students got the chance to see what USI had to offer. Students asked questions, and their faculty were ready to answer any questions students had about their program of interest. This event was especially helpful for undecided students. Connect with Southern Indiana, a regional leadership program managed by the University of Southern Indiana Community Engagement, is accepting applications for its 2020 class. The annual, the annual program focuses on promoting active citizenship and developing creative problem-solving skills for individuals across a nine-country region in southwest Indiana. The deadline to apply is Friday, November 8th. Karen has a look at your forecast after the break. The most important step in a person's journey of choosing a school is the campus visit. We want you to be a part of the organization that welcomes these students and shows them the friendly faces, excellent facilities, and the beautiful campus that the University of Southern Indiana has to offer. Faces of the Student Ambassador Organization are some of the first that new students and families will see at USI. They are crucial to the university. Student Ambassadors, welcoming Screaming Eagles to their new home. And welcome back. I'm Cameron Dulles with a look at your Access USI weather forecast. Currently our temperatures at this hour sitting in the mid to upper 80s. Right now, 87 in Evansville. Carmi checking in at 86 degrees and 87 down in Madisonville at this hour. And we're 87 here in Evansville under clear skies. Winds out of the west southwest at 4 miles per hour. And the hot temperatures going to continue to carry over uh, heading into the next uh, several days. But we do have some good news along the way. We'll get into that in just a moment. We're expecting clear skies tonight. 71 for an overnight low and we're expecting our temperatures to be on the hot side again for your Thursday. 92 degrees for our daytime high, mostly sunny skies expected. But then the good news comes along with Friday, 78 for our high, so much cooler weather by then. The dry weather continues into the beginning of the weekend. We will warm up slightly to the lower 80s on Saturday, but then we go back into the 70s. By the time we get to Sunday, only a high of 70 degrees. Notice those lows as well will be dropping to the 50s for our lows uh, moving towards the weekend as well. We do have rain chances in the forecast heading towards the end of the weekend. 70% chance on Sunday, 30% on Monday. And then we stay steady at 72 degrees Monday and Tuesday, drying out by Tuesday. And notice the low on Tuesday of 49 degrees. So we're going to start feeling more like fall. Throughout the next seven days, it holds well into the mid-70s on Wednesday with sunshine by the middle of next week. We're back with sports with Stuart Brooking after the break. I'm Chase Evans. This semester we had a really big smash tournament, we had a really big Rocket League tournament, and then we've kind of been trickling with some Fortnite and uh, bouncing between a few games. The Southern Indiana Esports Association is your place to get connected with other students around campus. And we hope next semester to go even harder, especially with introducing new games and getting more people involved. 
Southern Indiana Esports Association. Come out and play. Welcome back to this USI Sports Update. I'm Stuart Brooking. The USI volleyball team fell to number 13 Rockhurst University on Sunday in three sets. In the first set, the Hawks jumped out to an early 6-0 lead and never looked back as they would go on to win the first set 25-15. In the second set, the Eagles were held to a negative 0.94 attacking percentage. The Eagles hung in there early, but the Hawks were too much and eventually pulled away and won 25-13. In the third and final set, the Eagles kept it close, but ultimately couldn't escape with the win as they fell to the Hawks 25 to 20. The USI men's and women's soccer teams were able to sweep the University of Missouri St. Louis as the girls won six to nothing and the men won two to nothing. For the women, leading scorer Maggie Winter needed just one goal to move her from 10th all time in scoring in school history to 9th all time. And she got that one goal late in the second half by the way of a penalty kick. The men were led by Ryan Nevins and Graham Miller as they both hit the back of the net for a score. The men and women will be in action next this Friday. The cross country team each had a runner win runner of the week. Austin Nolan won runner of the week for the men and Jennifer Camastri won, run won runner of the week for the women. Nolan placed third out of 110 competitors and Camastri finished second out of 83 runners. Deja and Jaina will be back on with the news after the break. Being a student isn't easy yet. That's why grabbing every chance to have some fun is important. And it's never been easier than with Cinema USI. On Thursdays and Saturdays, you can come by, sign in with your student ID, and enjoy a free new movie. Get your free popcorn, free drink, and a chance to win cool prizes before the movie starts. After you've won your prize, just sit back and enjoy the film. Cinema USI. Film for free. Students learned about their study abroad options. Access USI reporter Casey Hunt Short has more. USI hosted their second annual study abroad fair. Students learned about how and where they could study abroad at. According to the study abroad ambassador, Mara Mantarosa, the study abroad fair gives students an opportunity to talk with the program assistants and become confident in their ability to study abroad. Sophomore Anna Mullins thinks that the study abroad fair helped answer some questions she had about the financial aspects of this program. The study abroad fair was a success this year at USI. It helps students gain a perspective on how the study abroad process works. Reporting for Access USI, I'm Casey Hunshort. And that was Access USI. Tune in next week for more. Have a nice evening. How's it going? <laughs>